Now, about the gas market, Europe's relationship with this country, Russia, as you well know, has been strained by uh, the conflict in Crimea and the tensions in the Middle East are flaring again, yet gas prices remain low. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that? How long can it last? Oh, I think it will last some, some years. Uh, why? Because, because, you know, there is a, a, a gas glut today in the global gas market. Uh, you have lots of liquefaction plants in Australia coming on, mm -hmm. online. Uh, the, 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 the consumption in Europe has been slightly declining because of energy efficiency. The U.S. is now producing. There is the first liquefaction plant uh, in USA uh, pro producing. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the U.S. market, the natural gas still sticks to three U.S. dollars today. It was 12 uh, in 2008, and so the, 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 the prices are low. Nevertheless, we consider that in the, in the long run, the prospects for uh, natural gas uh, are very good. Uh, at the horizon of 2050, 2060, uh, the energy mix of the world will see the, the coal declining strongly, we'll see oil declining significantly, and natural gas to keep, to maintain its, uh, its share in the uh, global uh, uh, energy mix, uh, sometimes increase its market share. So the future energy mix will be made of uh, natural gas and renewables, uh, wind, solar, biomass, hydro, mainly, and, and the, the thermal power generation, except with gas, uh, will decline strongly.